Hey, you're back. All right. I'm off to some thrift stores now. Um, I'm not going to take you with me. You know, you know what I mean. Not literally. I'm talking about I'm not going to film it because I'm no good at walking around and filming, as you know. So I'm going down to our local um, high street. If anybody doesn't know about Rochester High Street it's in Kent, they do like the Charles Dickens festivals and things like that. We've got Rochester Castle where they do concerts. Obviously not now, but um, in the past they've done fantastic concerts. So we've had some fantastic groups up in the up in the castle. It's well worth a visit, and they've got Rost Rochester Cathedral as well, which is absolutely stunning. And there's a lot of um, oldie woldy properties down there dating back to the 15th century um you know proper listed buildings it is a really nice little um high street there are no chain stores down there whatsoever there's not even a boots down there every shop what is down there is like a thrift store um a little antique shop um a little clothes boutique um what else have they got down there? Some little natty cafes, you know, like little tea shops. What will serve your tea with proper china cups and teapots. Um, little cafes, little coffee shops. Actually, there's a Costa down there. Um, but apart from that, the restaurants down there, they're not, they're not, there's not a McDonald's down there. There's not a Burger King or a Wimpy. Um, there's, a, there's two Indian restaurants down there. Um... And there's a couple of Italians down there. One particular we always go into called Don Vincenzo's. Highly recommend it. Lovely people in there. Great. Um, and there's some wine bars down there as well. And there's like um, a cheese. They just do cheese. You know, like all different cheeses in there. There's a winery down there. Honestly, it's so nice. And when they, if, you, if you're in Kent anytime, it's well worth popping down there and having a look. Anyway, so... I'm off down there to go have a little rummage through the thrift stores. I'm just sitting on my chair in the hallway because I put my shoes on. And then um, when I come back, I'm going to show you what I bought. Because what I'm looking for is I've got a lady who, want, who wants something rustic looking um, for her table in her kitchen. And, and she doesn't want like greys and whites and them colours. She wants cottagey kind of blush pinks and ivories and creams and lots of foliage and stuff like that and she doesn't want a glass vase she wants either a ceramic or a wicker basket or some sort of basket so um down there is the ideal place to go and have a rummage and have a look around and see what i can find so that's where i'm going and also when i come back i've actually done the table runner in the dining room i can't wait to show you honestly it's I'm so chuffed with it. It looks absolutely lovely. So I'm going to shoot off, get yourself a cup of tea, wait for me to come back, and um, I'll see you in a bit. And then I'll show you what I've got, if I've got anything, and then um, I'll take you in the other room. We might not have time to do the, the clothing one, so I might have to do that next week. I keep putting it off and putting it off, but I just keep doing other stuff, and it just takes over. Anyway, off I go, and I'll see you in a bit, all right? <laughs> see you in a second. I don't know if you can see behind me, but I've got a, um, a, a little selection going on over here, what I thought. Oh, I, did I did go and film in one of the... Um, in one of the shops I went in, and I'm gonna add this into the, into the video somewhere along the line. Anyway, I had a budget in mind, right, and I went out with 50 pound. That was my limit. Anyway, I'll let you know in a bit whether I stuck to the 50, right? So, before we get started, there's two things I just need to say. No, actually, one thing I need to say and one thing I need to do. So the first thing I need to say is I really need to say a big, welcome and hello to a young lady who's just joined us her name is Georgina so hi Georgina if you're watching big shout out to you my darling um, I'm not gonna um, tell everybody um, why I'm particularly saying hello to Georgina um, but she messaged me um, from watching my videos um, and she messaged me via Facebook um, which I will link my link below. And um, we had a little bit of a chat on on, on there. And um, I just want to say, keep chin up. Keep going. 
Don't let nothing get you down. Life's too short, all right? So get yourself a little drink. I've got my little glass of uh, mimosa, all right? And don't worry, it will all come out in the wash. Anyway, that's that little spillover, right? I'm not gonna say any more about that. Get yourself a drink, everybody. I've got mimosa because it's the afternoon. It's a beautiful sunny day. I've got the sun streaming in here. Actually, no, it's not streaming in here because the sun's over there at the over there at the moment. But it's gonna come round here. So, um, but it's a nice sunny day. I've got the doors open. So let's get on, right? I've got to have a mouth with this bird. I've had a really busy week. Really, really busy at work. Anyway. Oh, by the way, if anyone's interested, I know a couple of people mentioned my previous top what I had on. Well, this is another one of my little, I'll just do a little turn around here. Can you see my little top? Um, it's like a greeny colour, it's elastic here. You can wear it off the shoulders if you want to, like this. Look, do 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 it's the tie-dye again, what I really like. It's jersey material here. It's got some lace down the sleeves here. $10, TK Maxx, or TJ Maxx, whatever you want to call it. So I just thought I'd let you know that. And it covers your bum. And it covers all these bits as well. <laughs> right, anyway, let's get cracking. So I went in a couple down there because there's a couple of shots down there. Um, I'll show you the basic things first and I'll show you my good ones. So this, um, was just a plain vase, just a plain pot, um, which will be perfect for, for some of my arrangements. Really heavy, and it was a pound. It's like going to a car boot sale, really, isn't it? Um, it's got a couple of little scratches in the bottom, but that, but that's nothing, because I can just spray that, and you're not gonna see the bottom anyway. Really heavy, it is glass. So that's gonna be for one of my little DIY projects. Another, like a big wine glass. Now, do you know what? I could probably get my bottle bubbly and tip it in there and drink it like that, or get a straw. Um, <laughs> anyway, I sound like an alcoholic. I, believe me, I'm really not a big drinker whatsoever, um, she says. Um, so this one is two pound, and it's a bit similar to, you know the one I bought in, um, where did I buy it? Home Bargains. It was like, I'll show you in a minute actually, because it's it's just beyond the camera. Um, it was like a, like this, and it's got a bit of bling around it. It's like a big, big wine glass, and it was in a wedding section from, was it Home Bargains? I think it was Home Bargains, yeah. And that was eight pounds. So this was two pounds, that's similar. Um, again, I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna do a little DIY with this. But I just thought, yeah, for two pounds, you know, I can, I can work with that, I can work with that. Um, I'm going to put them all in the dishwasher as well, by the way. These I thought was a good little buy. Little candle holders. Two for a pound. No. No. <laughs> two pound for two, so pound each. Um, obviously came as the pair. Um, I think there was a little chip on one of them. Is it this one? No, maybe not. Maybe not. It's not this one. Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. They're just a tiny little chip. But when I put some bling wrap around there and put some bits and pieces, whatever, or glue them together and do something like that, and these are really heavy. Um, so yeah, I was chuffed with them, two quid for two. Another couple of little candle holders, I bought a few of these down there. Um, but, have I got two of these? No, I've only got one of these. Um, but again, I, I like things like this. That I can. This was a pound, I can do a lot with that. Um, you know, just ideas you stick them together or, or layer, um, not layer them, stagger them. Do you know what I mean? I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Another one. Now, this couple of these bits, um, I did put in the, the dishwasher, um, before I started filming again, because I wanted to wash some of them. Not, I have washed all of them. And I put this in the dishwasher. And I don't know if you can see, but it's like a smoked uh, greeny colour, bluey colour. But I actually quite like it for myself, to be honest. But I've put it in the dishwasher to wash it. And um, the, the inside, I don't know if you can see. Well, anyway, it, it's kind of 
cut, it's like a film and it's actually started coming off, so, which is a shame, but it was only a quid, so, you know, I could, I could spray it, I suppose, but I wanted it because I liked the colour. It's like a smoky, can you see? Smoky kind of green bluey, petrol bluey colour, which would have gone perfect in the, in the hallway. Another couple of candle holders. <laughs> I think they're really cute. I can do things with them. They was two pound for both of them. Again, really heavy glass. It, like, you know where you're going? Places like, um, I don't know, Matalan, The Range, wherever. Actually, The Range do quite heavy stuff, actually. Some of their glass is quite heavy. But sometimes you go in shops and the glass is really flimsy. I think they were worth it. Um, yeah, another couple of candle holders, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this one, two pound, really nice, love this one. Um, I am actually gonna keep a couple of these bits for myself because I'm still working on the, um, th th this room. So I'm gonna definitely gonna keep a few pieces. So really pleased with that, two pound. Another one, this was only, a, oh, this was 150, this one. And I really like the shape. I love the stem on this. Um, it's got the white, inside there so one pound fifty it's not too heavy yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad um but it's a nice shape i really like that what else we got i love this i don't know why i don't know I, even the color i know it, it looks yellowy but it is like a champagne color yellowy if that makes sense I just really like it. The funny thing was when I was coming out of the shop with it, right, there was a bloke, um, an older, I say an older gentleman, right, and he was a gentleman. Um, and he said to me, oh my God, you're gonna need a great big bottle of wine to go in there, aren't you? And I just burst out laughing. I thought, I just look like a wino coming out with it, you know, these things like this. Um, that actually was four pound. Okay, maybe a little bit more than, than, you know, than the rest of the bits for two pound, but I liked it. I like the style. I like the kind of um, beveled kind of, um, I don't know what you call it, glass effect, whatever it is. I really like that. And because I'm going with the champagne colors in here as well, I might just spray a touch of the white gold shimmer over the top of it just to tone down the yellowness in there um, and then put some nice florals in there so i think that'd be really really nice just another candle holder again a bit like the wine one a bit like the wine the wine glass similar shape but this actually has got a nice bit of bubble detail on it here which i quite like um, and that was three pounds so three pound one pound you know there's, there's it's not too bad and this also has got like a beveled effect through it as well so i like that that's quite a nice shape chuck that over there now these two are my last bits from the thrift shop but i really like i saved the best to last well i think i like them i love this plate it is this is the color i like the smoky um, it's not brown, but it's like a smoke glass effect. And I love the pattern on it. I love the detail around here. It was four pound. I don't know whether that's expensive for a thrift shop. Very heavy, but I just love it. Look at that. I absolutely love this. Now this, I'm what I'm gonna do with this is put my phone block in here, glue it to the bottom, and I'm going to do some nice florals. I don't want to talk to you because this is going to go, I've got um, my glass mirror coffee table down here. And I'm going to put that in the center of that. So I'm going to have florals coming out this way. Tiny bit on the top here, but not tall, not coming up. Because it's not that, it's not that type of um, vase or plate, whatever you want to call it. It's not going to be like that. I want it this way rather than this way. If that makes sense. So look out for that, because I think that will look fantastic on that table. I'm so pleased with that. Four pound? I, I like it, I think that's a good buy. 
And this little thing, I love this. I know it's old, you might think it's old fashioned, but I really like it. So this is three pound. This is gonna go when, um, when we start doing the garden and, and you know, having nice furniture out and stuff like that, which we just haven't got around to doing yet. Um, but it's that old, like, do you remember years and years ago, if you've been to places like Spain or Greece and you drive around, Little little towns and little back streets and that. We used to have a caravan, um, and we did a lot of touring because we couldn't afford to go abroad. No, that's a lie. When we first got our caravan, we couldn't afford to go abroad, so we used to tour the country, right? Then, when I was about ten, my dad saved up. He worked very hard, as everyone does, you know. He worked very hard, and we saved up to go abroad with the caravan, so we drove, and we drove to, uh, where was our first trip? Our first trip was to the south of France, which I was telling you about Fraser's use, the Orangina and that. Then we went to Spain. Those are the two countries we went to with the caravan. And when you used to drive around, I never forget when I was young, we used to drive around all the little back streets, the little towns and that, and you'd see on the streets, on the graveled, um, dusty little streets, roads, would be pottery places, selling loads of pottery stuff, and it looked like that. And this is what this reminds me of. So I saw this, obviously, in the little shop. It's like a little wooden base with a cork, cork little top there and three little, little pots and a little rope detail. I just love it. And that is gonna go, and what I'm thinking of like putting in there is like olives, um, some little mixed nuts in there, um, little, um, you know, like the little, um, what they're called, little tiny peppers are about this big and they've got like cream cheese in them, something like that in there, or little tiny bits of cheese in there. I, honestly, I love it. It's such a funny little thing, isn't it? But I really, really like that. I think it's really rustic. So that's going to go outside in the garden. They, they're, they're my two ones that I really like. So that was it from the thrift store. Now, I'm gonna take you into the dining room and show you what it looks like. So, get yourself a drink quick and follow me because I'm so excited to show you. I'm just gonna have a quick, quick mouthful. And off we go, right? Come with me. Go into the other room. Oh, here we go. Right, now when I get to this point, I'm going to turn the camera around, right? So hold on a minute. Here we go. I'm going to try not to talk so much. <laughs> but I will do a bit of talking because I'll just show you what I've done. Now I've used obviously my florals, what I've got, my little stash. kept the board, the glitter board, and put that blue foam down the middle and obviously arranged all the flowers. I, honestly, I'm absolutely chuffed with that. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I've even lit the candles for you. Um, you know, I had the two runners. That I was gonna do two on either side, but it's too wide. Um, you wouldn't be able to get any plates. If you was doing this yourself, you just need the centre one. Obviously, if, if you're in a venue and you've got like double tables or whatever, my table's not very wide. So this is perfect in the middle, but not for either side of the table, unless you're not having a dinner service and you're just having drinks. But that absolutely looks stunning. So I've just got some little foam roses coming along here, the wisteria hanging down. I wanted some greenery. I didn't want it looking so bland. Um, some wisteria hanging down the corner. And all I've done with the wisteria, you can just see poking out here, I put the stems underneath here, and all these are loose. And I've literally just dotted them on here just to cover up the stems. And that's what I've done. You can see in the middle here, I've got the little tea lights. I can put that on. These are the ones I got from the pound shop. 
and these, the little tea lights, do you remember I showed you before? That's them ones there. So I'll just put them in the middle. Let's, little bit of blings every now and again, a little bit of greenery, a little bit of foliage going on. Right the way up here, some big um, floral pieces just on the side to give it a little bit of um, width, if you like. But the rest of the foam rose is up the middle, as you can see. A bit of foliage. And then this side. Wow. Absolutely, you know, I, I, I'm chuffed with it. I can't, I can't say what else about it. It's not everyone's cup of tea, and I completely understand that. I'm probably going to get some thumbs down, but... You know, hey ho, not everyone's going to like it. I mean, wisteria over in the corner, we'll come round to that in a second. Let's just come back round this side. And over here, all I did was, got my champagne bucket, um, got my glasses, tipped one on the side. This is just for effect. Um, put a throw over here and some florals down there. But it's just setting a scene. Do you know what I mean? Um, Here's my hanging wisteria. So all this is, is that tall vase from the range which was $7.99, lovely and tall. I put it on the pedestal here and put the wisteria in it and hung it down. You don't need anything else. You know, what? how much are these each? I think they're about three pounds each, I think. And what have I got in there? I've probably got, well, I'll tell you because I've got the stems in here. I've got one, two, three, four. Four of them and and the bars. Um, and that is absolutely gorgeous. Let's come back round here again. I like a little bit of greenery just poking through so it's not some bland. And I've also put some little pearls in there as well, as you can see. Coming back round here, just draped over the uh, cream throw. And I love the water, water uh, what do you call it? The paddle, sorry. It's called a paddle um, on the floor, the way it just hangs down. I'm so pleased with it. And of course, your glitter on here as well. A um, little bit of gold because it goes with a the theme, the blushes and the creams and the ivories. It, I, I, honestly, I'm so chuffed with it. I think it looks absolutely stunning. Let me know what you think. Not everyone's cup of tea, as I said, but I'm well pleased with it. So quickly back to, before we end the day, quickly back to my little thrift collection, because I told you I had a 50 pound budget. Uh, and after doing, buying these bits, I've got a confession. So while I, whilst I went down there, just going down for some, from some thrift bits and, and trying to find something for my lady, which I didn't even get because I didn't see anything and saw other bits, I went into a little boutique and bought two things, a top and like a jumpsuit and I think I'll just show you. So although I had a £50 budget, oh my god no I just remember something, in one, <laughs> in one of the shorts I bought a cabinet which is going to go in the dining room. You know right in the corner where the champagne bucket is. It's gonna go in there. Now, do you remember years ago? Well, actually, while I was in the thrift store, I actually took a little bit, a little snippet of the video, so I'm gonna add it in here as well. Oh my God, honestly. Do you know what? I forget things and then I remember. What's wrong with me? Anyway, so that, it, it, do you remember years ago, I had one when I first got married and my mum had them and they was old, well, not old at that then, they are now, mahogany, wood mahogany, you had corner units and they had like a crisscross across the front, a top bit for a display bit and then the bottom bit was a little door and they was that uh, like a corner shape. Do you know what I mean? Well you'll see it in a minute anyway because I'm going to show you. So I've been wanting one for the dining room to go in the corner as a display unit but I don't want the mahogany colour. And a little while ago, a woman on Facebook, you know, the marketplace, she put on there that she had one of these units um, and she was just giving it away. She said she was putting it in her front garden. If anybody wanted to come along, get it, get it. So I said to Sean, I really want it. But we couldn't get it in our car and I nobody who had a van. 
so I don't know how I'm going to do this. Anyway, so when I was down this little shop, it's a cancer um, UK shop, and it's quite big, and they've got clothes, and they've got all this China stuff and stuff like that, and then right at the back of the store, they've got some furniture bits, you know, just cheap little bits and pieces, and they had two of these cabinets, they were 20 pounds each. I didn't buy two. One of them has got mirrors in it. And I just thought, I've got, I've got to have that. 20 quid, I've got to have it. And I'm gonna sand it all down. And I don't know what color I'm gonna go with yet, but I need to, I'm gonna spray paint it. So anyway, so I put 20, I paid the 20 pound, and then thought, am I gonna get it home? So I've got to tell Sean yet that we've got to try and get this home. It's only down the road. But it's, it's down there, but it's tall, it's long. Anyway, what I'm getting at is, I had a 50 pound budget and I spent with these bits here and the unit, 36 pound in one shop, which was, you know everything I showed you with the blue blue labels on, this came out of that shop. Right, I'm gonna move this out of the way, including this, all the other little glass bits and pieces, including that unit, came to 36 pound. Right? No, that's incorrect. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Right, take that out and that out. Yeah, right, so. All the glass bits and pieces, all of this stuff, yeah, that, the two big bits, um, these, that and the unit came to £36. In the other shop, that was £4, so where we are now, 40 quid. That was £4, so we're at £44. What was that, a pound? So 45, and that was a pound. 46 pound, right? That's my fifth, oh no, one more thing. Hold on, hold on. They had these, which are gonna go with my florals, and that was a pound. So where are we up to now? What did I just say? 44 pound, 45 pound. 45 pound out of my 50 quid, and I've got five pound change. However, that was my budget for my thrift stuff. Then I went into this little um, boutique, and this little boutique does little bits of clothing, but, they, but they're one, it's like a one-off piece. They've not got like five of everything or, or 10 of everything. They're just, just individual pieces. And in there as well, she does things like homemade soaps and homemade candles, you know, that kind of um, store. And she has like, um, what are them sticks called? Incense sticks dotted around and she does like an odd chandelier hanging up and odd little vases and um, nice little glasses with crystals on them and they, you, know, you know where I'm getting from anyway so she's got some nice couple of bits so I've got these to show I had to go in right and I saw these pieces and I thought well, I've got I just got got to buy them but you couldn't try them on in there because obviously no one's trying on at the moment. So I said to the lady, look, I really like these pieces, um, but can I obviously take them home if they don't fit? Can I bring them back? She said, yeah, you've got one week for, for a full refund. After that, it's just an exchange. I said, no, that's fine. I'm only up the road. But I'm gonna try this on and show you quickly. It's a lovely blousy type top. Now, I know it looks wide, but when you put it on, it looks really nice, right? So I've got, but I've got to stop the camera. So, can you see? I've got jeans on, I'm right in the corner of my room. So I'm a bit far away, but I absolutely, I saw it and just thought, yeah, this is just me all over. You know, a bit of splash of color on here. Um, it's got a really nice kind of, paisley kind of pattern going on down the bottom here. I just like the shape, it's got a little pocket here. It's a proper nice casual throw on shirt, you know. It's got little buttons here. You can roll the sleeve down or you can have it, uh, sorry, you can roll the sleeve up, you can have it down. I'll turn around and show you the back. 
nice and long, covers your bum. You know, a proper, a proper just throw on. Look at the detail on here. I just loved it. Can you see me? <laughs> I love this jumpsuit. Absolutely love it. It's so nice. It's got the little thin straps here, elasticated at the top, um, the little bit to cover over here. So this covers all this bit up. Elasticated around here and it's like a chiffony material but it's like pleated, if that makes sense. And then the legs. Um, I'm trying to see if I can move the camera. I'll try and see if I can move the camera a bit closer so you can see it closer. But it's kind of, it's like, um, the only thing I would say, because I've got long legs, it's not right down to the floor. And I like things either right down to the floor or kind of capri, capri style length you know what I mean like, like up to your calf that kind of thing and this is more or less on my ankles but I think with some high heel wedges on I think it will look I think it'll be fine um if I can try I'll tell you what I'm going to try and do I'm going to tip the camera oh god cutting you all up now right and see if I can do it right I'm going to see if I can lay the camera here with a pillar behind it right now, oh my good God, I'm useless at this. No, you still can't really see it properly, can you? Okay, I'll, tr I'll try and do it like this then. Can you see what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I can't do it, I just can't do it. <sighs> but anyway, kind of can see it that way, sort of. Yeah? <laughs> I can't do it. <gasps> Oh, I'll give up. Let's just go back in the kitchen. Let's just put the camera back up here again. You, you understand what I'm trying to say, don't you? Honestly, silly cow. Oh, nearly dropped it. But you, you can get the gist of it, yeah? Nice big baggy bottoms. I mean, I these are a little bit, funny enough, these are a little bit loose for me. Um, so what I could do is either cut them off and have it as a boob tube, but saying that this is a little bit loose as well. But you could, I mean, you could still do it like that. All I've got to do is just take it in a little bit. But it, it's one of them things when, especially going or not going away, if you're going away, if you're going away, or when you're going away, it's one of that material, what it wouldn't need ironing, you know? So I've, yeah, that was, how much was this one? Hang on, 39.99. And that's that make. I've never heard of it. And there's the label. So, although I went out with a £50 budget, I obviously went over my budget. <laughs> but, that's different. Because I had a £50 budget to buy my home stuff. But I just had to spot this on the side. And had to buy them. So, there we are, guys. I'll, I'll try and um, do the clothing one next week, but I don't know. I just have, I just feel like I have so much to tell you. So much going on. I'm so busy all the bloody time. Anyway, have a lovely weekend, everybody. All right? Go and grab a drink. Have a gin and tonic or, I don't know, just chill, just relax, you know? But enjoy yourselves. So take care. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you all soon, all right? Take care. Bye.